Here we have the sheep brain covered by the Dura Mater. This is the Dura Mater, and I am putting the probe <coughs> under the Dura Mater in the subdural space. Um, here, this brain has had the Dura Mater removed, and we are able to see th this part of the brain is covered with the arachnoid mater. It's kind of like shrink wrap. If you can get close on the uh, view here, and you can see that there's sort of a covering. As I run my probe over the sulci of the brain, the grooves are the sulci, um, I can't get the probe down into those grooves. I can't get them into the sulcus without penetrating this very thin, cellophane-like, shrink-wrap-like layer called the arachnoid mater. So here's the arachnoid mater covering this whole hemisphere of the brain. All right. On this side of the brain, in this hemisphere, we can see that the arachnoid has been removed. On this side, we can see sort of a filmy uh, saran wrap layer, the arachnoid. And on this side, you can tell that it's been removed first by the fact that I can easily put the probe into the sulci without breaking through any membrane. Therefore, these gyri are covered by pia mater which hugs the brain and extends on the gyrus down into the sulcus. So we have the arachnoid over here that you cannot get into the grooves, and over here you have the pia covering all these bumps of tissue known as gyri. Um, we have um, some general regions of this brain you're responsible for. One is the cerebrum. The cerebrum is all of this here. All of this is cerebrum. Back here, we have the cerebellum, cerebellum. Then if I turn the brain on the ventral side, we can see some other general regions. Here is the pons, and here is the medulla. Pons and the medulla oblongata, and then we're down into spinal cord down here. The cerebrum can be divided into cerebral hemispheres. Here is the right cerebral hemisphere. Here is the left cerebral hemisphere. And there is a groove found between the two that is called the longitudinal fissure. A fissure is a deep groove, a more shallow groove we refer to as a sulcus. So here's one hemisphere, one cerebral hemisphere. Here's another cerebral hemisphere. The cerebellum can further be uh, divided into lobes. Here is the frontal lobe. Here is the temporal lobe, right around in that region. Here is the occipital lobe, and in this region would be the parietal lobe. And of course, it's the same on the other hemisphere. Um, on the sheep brain, the lateral fissure is not well enough developed to point out. Okay. On the inferior surface of the sheep brain, we have uh, several structures you're responsible for. One is the mammillary body, and I'm outlining the mammillary body here. Here is the mammillary body, this little structure right on the midline. And on a sheep brain, there's only one. On the human, there are two. So here's the mammillary body. Slightly anterior to that is a hole. I'm putting the tip of the probe in that hole. That is what remains of the infundibulum, which dangled the pituitary gland. Above that is what's, what remains of the optic chiasma. This is um, the crossing of the optic nerve. The optic nerve extended out like that and like that. We had to cut those off in order to be able to expose this area. So before it was cut, we had an optic chiasma. On the dorsal side of the brain, we find some other structures of importance. To find them, I am going to bend the brain, separating the cerebellum from the cerebrum and expose one, two, three, four bumps. All four of those bumps together are known as the corpora quadrigemina, four bodies, corpora quadrigemina. The corpora quadrigemina is made up of two superior colliculi, two inferior colliculi, one colliculus, another colliculus, but um, all together these are known as the corpora quadrigemina. There is one further bump right here, this little one. That small one right there is the pineal body, pineal gland, pineal body. Okay. 
Here we have the cerebral peduncles. You remember that the cerebral peduncles are found on the ventral side of the brain. We find them forming a V on either side of the mammillary body. They are swelling, cerebral peduncles. Here's one, and here's another.